Hi, everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. One of the basic tenets in sports is to keep your eye on the ball. I'm here to break that rule. Take your eye off the ball in this one and watch that trench warfare that's going to be going on on the lines of scrimmage. The offensive line against the defensive line. Two tough, hard-nosed, smash-mouth squads on both sides hoping to get the best of each other with a series of body blows. That does it for us here on the NCAA College Football pregame show. Enjoy the game. We'll see you at the half. Navy will be kicking off, and you can just feel the energy in the air for this opening kickoff. He's to the 20. At the 30. They'll bring him down at the 31. Now the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. Six yard line. It's second down. They'll bring him down around the 35 yard line. Boy, did you see how the defense just swarmed to the ball carrier? That was fantastic pursuit. option, but he got in the ball, and he was able to make something big happen. From their own 44-yard line, it's first down. Tackle made around the 41-yard line. The quarterback tried to do a little too much by himself. Hey, maybe next time he'll get it out to the back so he can do something with it. to get it inside the 46. He wants it all going long. And he holds it in. Tackle around the 17-yard line. And the receiver shows us why he's considered one of the fastest on the team. You know, you often hear the term deceptive speed and how certain players have it. But I'll tell you what, there's nothing deceptive about this guy's speed. He can flat out fly. So after the big pass play, we've got a first down. And they make the stop at the 16. That's a team run on the play. That brings up second and nine. Here's the eighth play of the series. yard line these guys have the capability to gain solid consistent yardage they have to regroup come out a bit more motivated next time 
Well, they'll line it up again on third down. Two for two so far on this drive. when this offense really needs them to pick them up. Your quarterback's performance on third down is vital to your team's success. Here's play number 10 on the drive. That's a great tackle at the three-yard line. That brings up second and goal. Second down, goal to go. Ball on the three. This defense not wanting to give an inch here. He's tackled at the two-yard line. That makes his third and goal. This is the 12th play of this drive. And they'll get him in the backfield. The fullback back to the original line of scrimmage, and that's it. They're going to go for the easy three here. Hawaii could take the lead with this field goal. It's up, and it's through the uprights. Reese Davis is standing by with this update. Reese, let's take a trip to Norman. And for Tulsa, they're now in the driver's seat. The Golden Hurricane lead, 6-0. All right, Reese, back to our game. Jackson has the ball set, and he looks ready to kick this one deep. Sends it sailing downfield. He's to the 20. And he's tackled at the 30. Navy staff and their fans have heard all week long their quarterback's going to play terribly on the road. I think their staff's got them ready to prove them wrong right now. I, I think this staff really has rallied this entire team around some of that negative talk. And I think they believe in their guy that he can go on the road and make the plays and lead them to a big victory. I, you know, sometimes when you hit some adversity like that, you see teams circle the wagons. And I, and I really believe this week they've done a great job of doing that. that now they just have to go out and execute the plan and go out and win this game. Runs right for a nice game. Now he tries to buy some time. He's taken down at the 42, and he scrambles for the first down. He was looking downfield, but nothing was available. So he just tucked it in and got a first down. Nice decision. Taken down around the 47 yard line. That's a game of 11 on the play. First down. Mike five, Mike five. Gains his way to the 39 yard line. Oh, we had a pitcher's duel in that low scoring first quarter. 3 0 Hawaii. And we're ready for more football here in quarter number two. They'll bring him down for a loss on the play. And they'll look to convert here on another third down. You can chalk that one up to the hundreds of passes the quarterback has thrown to this receiver in practice. These guys know and trust each other, and you could see it in the way he threw that pass. And he tackles him hard at the four.
Touchdown, Navy! He makes the PAT. Let's go to the studio for this Reese Davis update. The Sooners arrive at today's game ranked number six in the land. This is a game we've been watching closely all day long. The Sooners have a lethal pass-catch combination for a touchdown. The Sooners are out front, 14-6. And we thank you, Reese Davis. Back to the action here. Low, get set to kick this one away. He's to the 20. He's taken down at the 27-yard line. There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. Here we go. Green Gets out to around the 38. their own 38-yard line. First down. Lateral's back. Gets to about the 41-yard line. That'll make it second and seven. to around the 45. From the 45-yard line, first down. Makes it out to about the 36. First and ten. Ball on the 27-yard line. Pitches back. And he hits him hard at the 28-yard line. Loss of one there for the halfback. Great penetration into the backfield. And that was just a great hit to finish off the play. seeing that one in the highlight reels. What a great, great run. A real display of all the tools that he brings to the table. Trying to go up by three. They'll kick the extra point. And he tacks on the extra point. Reese Davis joins us in the studio with this update. Reese. The Sooners take the field in this game, ranked number six. This is the game we've been watching closely today. The Golden Hurricanes hammer that running game and score a touchdown. The Sooners lead it by two. Middle of the second quarter. Thanks, Reese. 10-7 in this one. Jackson has his kick team lined up, and he is set to kick this one off. Fielded at the four. And down he goes at the 32. Both teams are kind of struggling to take control of this game. Obviously, they're both very, very competitive with one another. It just seems that the lead is going back and forth between the two teams. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Catches it and hit immediately for a loss. 
first out for a five-yard loss. That play was sort of out of sync from the start, but you have to also recognize that the defense made a great play. They read it from the get-go. Finds the junior. Brought down to the 37-yard line. That's a game of 10 on the play. That'll make it 35. He's scrambling. Tackle made at the 41. Just a good showing on all three downs by the defense. That should fire him up. Hawaii's going to take their first time out of the half. Tyler to punt. Sparks takes it to 21. Tackle made at the 29. So it's time to see this offense go to work again. This defense couldn't stop them from moving the ball and inevitably finding the end zone. Hawaii is up by three. Now he's scrambling, runs with it, and he's got room. And he's tackled the 39-yard line. From their own 39-yard line, it's first down. Can't get away from the pressure. The defenders played the snap count perfectly. They found the path into the backfield and didn't let the quarterback get away. The Warriors call a timeout. That's their second of the half. So it'll be second and 14 after the setback. Going deep. Great catch there before they can knock him out of bounds. up around five yards with that catch. Scrambling around. And they make the stop right around the four-yard line. He scrambled. And he's going to run this one in. Touchdown. Splits the uprights with the extra point. It was a seven-play, 70-yard drive, and it's good for seven points. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well-executed touchdown play. The score now, 17-7. He's to the 20. He's tackled at the 25. Gray's play in the first half has been impressive, man. That's the way he's played quarterback all season long and in this first half, too. But right now, he needs some help, Kirk, and I think he's about ready to go over the sideline and start kicking some fanny. I think he better, Brad. I think you're right. He's playing well enough for this team to win, but unfortunately, they're losing. They still have a lot of football left to go, and I'm with you. I think one way to try to get this team to turn it around is he's going to have to provide that leadership, maybe challenge him a little bit on the sideline and, and definitely at halftime and try to get him ready to go in the second half. Navy will have one timeout remaining. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. Looking for his man, incomplete. That pass didn't look exactly right when it left his hand. Sometimes you don't get a great grip on the ball, and it comes out a little wobbly. And 
he's hit immediately. Call it a gain of four yards. That makes it first and ten. And that'll do it. We head to the break. Still plenty of time left in this one. 17-7, Warriors. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. This is Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. Perhaps the most important statistic in any football game is turnover margin. I once had a wise coach tell me that the football was so important they named the game after it. Whatever that means. I think it means that you're not supposed to let it get away from you and give it to the other team. And so far, both of these offenses have done a great job of that. No doubt. And most games are lost, not won. And it's because of the turnover differential. And you can look at the stats when you say that every single time. But... You know, both teams doing a good job taking care of it. Both offenses executing and still calling a game, still still scoring points, still putting up good numbers, but at the same time taking care of the pigskin. And they better value that thing because, yeah, you give it away and bad things happen. That's going to do it at halftime. Just about ready to start the second half. All right, you finish it up, brother. I'm going to get some in the cafeteria. I'm hungry. But, but wait, don't leave until you get my order. Brad Kirk, take the second half. One great kick. He's to the 20. Brought down at the 29 yard line. Hawaii's continuing to play extremely tough defense. This has been impressive. It's just been impressive to watch them play with such an attitude, almost a chip on their shoulder with the energy that they're playing with. I think it's going to require that kind of effort to be able to win this game. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. He pitches it. Nice run to the outside. That's a game of six on the play. That'll make it second and four. And now he pitches it. He takes it right side for a good game. That's how we do, D. That's how we do that. First down. Second down. They'll get him for a loss. Tyler awaits the snap. Sparks yields it at the 30, and he's taken down at the 40-yard line. Both squads are digging in now. Let's see what happens on this next drive. Second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. And he throws it away.
bounces off a would-be tackler. Now he pitches it, and they're not going to get it. Great stop. That'll make it fourth and two. It looks like they're going to go after this punt. They'll bring him down at the 20-yard line. Their last drive ended in a punt, so this quarterback's going to be looking for something better on this drive. If they're going to make a comeback in this game, it's going to have to start now. This offense has to get rolling. He laterals. He's tackled at the 30. That's, That's good, good for a game, game of 10 yards. yards. That brings up second and one. Mike five, Mike five, Mike five. Roger, Roger. West of 29, 29. And he's taken down at the 30 yard line. No game. First down. Hold this. Mike five, Mike five. He's taken down at about the 27 yard line. Second down, 13 yards to go. Ball on the 27. They'll knock him down for a loss. Well, Kirk, good news. We saw him go to the locker room a little bit earlier with that injury, but apparently he's all right. It looks like he's going to get back in the action here. Throws it deep. There's a very impressive open field tackle. You can chalk that one up to the hundreds of passes the quarterback has thrown to this receiver in practice. These guys know and trust each other, and you could see it in the way he threw that pass. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. From the 32-yard line, second down. He's still moving, and he's shoved out of bounds at the eight-yard line. That's another first down, Brad, and right now, you can just really feel and sense the rhythm that this offense is in. Their ability to pick up first downs is pushing this defense further and further down, back deep into their own territory. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. It's the ninth play of the drive. Kirk, good news. The guy that we saw go to the locker room with that injury earlier is back on the sideline, and I got to bet he's going to be back in the game soon. Now he tries to buy some time. He's got the corner. Touchdown, midshipman. Boy, did he look determined running the football. Nobody was going to keep him out of the end zone. Here's the extra point to draw within three points. And he converts the extra point. A nice nine play, 80-yard drive. And they come away with a touchdown. And Brad, right now, the offensive line just winning the battle in the trenches, opening up some big running lanes. So the score now, 17-14. Navy, kick this one off. He'll take it from the two. Across the 30. He's taken down at the 41-yard line. Well, 
Welcome back to the action here as we resume play here in quarter number four. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. Hawaii is up a field goal. And he brings it down. They bring him down at the 36. From the 36 yard line. First down. He makes it to the 35 yard line. That brings up second and nine. He's on the run. And he hits him hard at the 19. First and 10. Ball on the 19. He was never able to get ahead of steam on that carry. Two yards, two yards on the play. play. That'll bring up 36. We've got a third and six here. Ball on the 16-yard line. Hawaii has a three-point lead. Here we go. Francis, check, check. Navajo, Navajo. Pulls it in, and he's in the open field. Touchdown, Warriors! He makes the PAT. Jackson has his kick team lined up, and he is set to kick this one off. He's to the 20, looking for the corner. The 50. And they finally make the stop at the 36-yard line. The Warriors' defense came to play, and man, they have played beautifully. How many do they have dressed out there? 12 or 13 <laughs> defenders? I mean, they're flying all over the field, and this poor offense just can't move the ball. They have no chance. Well, the guys are chomping at the bit down there, waiting for the game to start back up. He's going to try and scramble. Right down, right around the 32-yard line. That makes it second and six. his man and they take him down immediately that's good for a gain of four yards third down a little more than two minutes to go in the fourth quarter nice run there as they work the outside first down He's scrambling. Inside the 10. What a play to set him up with a first and goal. He made a real nice play on that one. I'll tell you what. In today's game, you have to have the ability to run the football. Give the quarterback a lot of credit. He made a great play and really gave his team a boost. 
and he's hit before he can go anywhere. Game seven on the play. That brings him second and goal. Good job by the defense to overpower the offensive line and drop the back for a loss. Never want to see a kid down on the field after a play. Not sure what happened, but hopefully it's nothing serious. This is where the defense makes a name for themselves. It's third down and goal from the one. Touchdown, Navy! in the fourth quarter and the big question is in a game this close who's going to crack first here's the extra point to get within a field goal and he tacks on the extra point a nice seven play 37 yard drive and they add seven points to the scoreboard so our score 24 21 This is my kind of game. I love seeing this kind of production and the way these quarterbacks are playing. Both teams are challenging both of these defenses. Here we are late in the fourth quarter, and this is what this game has come down to. Every possession is going to count, and this could be the one right here. A little over a minute in the game. And he makes it out to about the 34-yard line. Sullivan gains around three yards on the option play. Navy's going to use their first time out of the half here. It's second down, seven to go. Ball on the 34-yard line. Inside the 10. He's all the way. Touchdown. Play clock's at zero. They took too much time. to play 37 yard drive and that's good for a touchdown the score now 31 21 everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff he kicks it off and he got all of that one he's to the 20 makes it to the 22 yard line navy's been doing special things on offense all season long and not today that's not what we've been expecting this has been a shocker these guys have had their way with almost every defense all year long you come in expecting the same thing and they lay an egg oh, i didn't expect to see this at all nothing left here except to see the clock hit zero a comeback is just not happening he's under some heat and they get the sack. The protection broke down. The defense was in the backfield in a hurry, and they brought the quarterback down. Nice play. Navy will take their second time out of the half. 
Defense looking for another sack in this second down and long situation. Under a minute left in the game. Throws quick to the receiver and it falls incomplete. Pretty good effort here by the quarterback of trying to squeeze that ball into a tight spot. I know it was incomplete, but he didn't have too many other options. Quick pass, and they make the stop around the 31-yard line. He's under pressure. He lets it fly. So the big blow comes from the defense. They come up with the stop of the day, and that'll ice this football game. And there's a missed opportunity by the offense. When you're a quarterback and you start this close to the end zone, your eyes just light up when you take the field. Conversely, the defense is thinking, uh-oh, we can't let him get another one so quickly. Navy's called their final timeout. And this should be a kneel down as they just try to kill the clock. He'll go down to one knee. This one comes to an end. Our final count in this game, 31-21, Warriors. That does it for this edition of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Brad Nessler saying so long.